On the screen you can see a variety of mangoes and apples. But it's not very clear to immediately determine how many mangoes and apples there are. So what we are going to do is count each of the fruits and combine the like fruits to make a simplified expression. All together there are 9 mangoes and all together there are 7 apples. So instead of keeping each fruit by itself, we are going to combine them. When we do this, we can write the simplified expression 9 mangoes plus 7 apples. And my goodness, that's a lot easier to look at. This is an example of combining like terms. Taking something that is separated or looks complex and combining the terms together to make a simplified expression. You can add and subtract expression in much the same way you add and subtract numbers. Simply add or subtract the like terms by adding their coefficients. For instance, negative 3xy square and 5xy square are like terms. And their sum is negative 3 plus 5 of xy square. which equals 2xy square. So, there are two steps to add or subtract expressions. Step 1. Group like terms together. Step 2. Add or subtract like terms. Now let's add these two expressions. Start with 2x square plus 6x plus 5 plus 3x square minus 2x minus 1. In order to add these two expressions, there are two steps. Step 1. Grouping like terms. We know that like terms are terms having the same variables to the same powers. So, 2x square plus 3x square plus 6x minus 2x plus 5 minus 1. Step 2. Add or subtract like terms, which is 2x square plus 3x square equals 5x square plus 6x minus 2x equals plus 4x and plus 5 minus 1 equals plus 4. Now let's combine these expressions. You always distribute before you combine. So I'm gonna go ahead and distribute this too. Whenever you see a number before brackets, it means to distribute. So I'm gonna distribute this 2 to the 4x my first time inside of my brackets and so the 3 the second term inside my brackets. So 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. And now I am just bringing down anything that I didn't use which is my minus 3x. So I have distributed and now I am looking to combine like terms. So the only like term I see here are 8x and negative 3x. The most important thing about combining like terms is that you take the sign before the term. So every term has to carry the sign before it. Think of it as its little leash. Okay, the a doesn't have that because it's the leading coefficient. But that just means that it's positive. Or it's no need to put plus sign when you start something in math. And bring down the plus 6. So, I'm doing 8x minus 3x which is 5x. When you combine like terms, you only deal with the coefficients and you keep the variable the same. And now I'm gonna bring down my plus 6 because there is nothing to combine that with. And then so, to distribute you multiply the number outside of the brackets by each term that's inside. And to combine like terms, you look for anything that has the same variable and same power. And these both have an imaginary one. That's why I say same power. You combine their coefficients, keep their variable. Now, let's subtract these two expressions. Start with 7x power 4 minus x square minus 4x plus 2 minus 
3x power 4 minus 4x square plus 3x. And most importantly, we should put brackets for this expression after the negative sign. Because this negative sign is for each term of the expression. That is for 3x power 4 minus 4x square plus 3x. In order to combine these two expressions, there are two steps. But before that, we should distribute the negative sign to each term inside the brackets. By doing so, we get 7x power 4 minus x square minus 4x plus 2 minus 3x power 4 plus 4x square minus 3x. Now let's grouping the like terms. 7x power 4 minus 3x power 4 minus x square plus 4x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 2. Step 2. Add or subtract like terms. Here, 7x power 4 minus 3x power 4 equals 4x power 4. Minus x square plus 4x square equals plus 3x square. Minus 4x minus 3x equals minus 7x. And leftover is plus 2. Warning. When an expression inside brackets is preceded by a negative sign, remember to distribute the negative sign to each term inside the brackets. Negative of x square minus x plus 3 equals negative x square plus x minus 3. Summary To put your new knowledge into practice, try the your turn questions below.